Rabbi, how fast 33 years has passed. Congratulations on this milestone in your life and thank you for all the many milestones that you created for CBI. With your help and guidance, our campus was built free and clear of encumbrances. I hope your future years will be filled with wonderful adventures. May you enjoy them all in good health. Rabbi, this has been a long journey from student to Rabbi Emeritus. You have shown us the ability to learn, teach, and counsel for the last 33 years. We hope this next phase of your life will be filled with surprises and good health. L'chaim. on your retirement. We are grateful for the wonderful times we shared with you and with both of our families. We feel blessed to have had you as our rabbi. Here's to the future. Where to begin? So much to say in such a short little time. We want to thank you for being our rabbi and friend for so, so many years. We hope you and Linda enjoy your retirement, and we also hope that we get to celebrate many special occasions with you again in the future as we have in the past. On to the next chapter. <laughs>
dear Ellie, we wish you and Linda many, many years of good health, years of adventures and travel, and good times with your beautiful family. We've been so privileged to have you as our rabbi this many years, so mazel tov on your retirement. Best wishes on your new adventures. L'chaim. Thank you for being our spiritual leader, our mentor, our friend. We wish you and Linda happy travels and illuminating adventures. Enjoy your, your forever, forever sabbatical. sabbatical. The Lerner family wants to say, Toda Rabbi, Rabbi Spitz! Good evening. As president of the Chelm University Alumni Association, it gives me great pleasure to honor our very distinguished alumnus, Rabbi Ellie Spitz. Many of you know Rabbi Spitz and know me as rabbis in the community. You may not realize that before we went to rabbinical school, we were dear friends at Chelm University. We were even in the same fraternity. Over the years, you've probably heard us tell Chelm stories. Just where do you think we learned them? It was at Chelm University. And so, on this occasion, as we bid a loving farewell to our dear friend, I say, Rabbi Spitz, distinguished Chelm University alumnus, Mazel Tov and Kol Tuv. congregants, friends, and our honoree tonight, Rabbi Spitz, Linda, and their growing family on the occasion of your retirement after 33 plus years as our rabbi. Before moving to Irvine, Hunter and I, Harriet, and our two young sons, Nathan and Ian, were living in Playa del Rey, California, members in a small conservative shul led by young Rabbi Michael Beals. When we told him we were planning on moving to Orange County area 21 years ago, he said, you have to go to Congregation B'nai Israel in Tustin. My friend Rabbi Ellie Spitz is wonderful and there are many young families. You'll love Rabbi and the shul. And yes, Rabbi Michael was right. You Rabbi Spitz were everything we wanted in a rabbi and more. We extend our most sincere best wishes and gratefulness to you, Rabbi Eli Spitz, for laying a rock-solid foundation of consistent leadership and friendship to all CBI congregants, including our family. It was Rabbi Spitz who led what turned out to be the most stabilizing period of our lives, being a family with special needs issues. Our biggest regret is being unable to attend live Shabbat services as much as intended after 2007. We were able to attend the, the majority of premier guest speaking events led by you, Rabbi, 
and are especially grateful for you, the opportunity you placed with online programming in recent years. We certainly were able to take advantage of those. We have experienced many of the most accomplished rabbis in Southern California during our lives, and Rabbi Ellie, you are the most valuable player, top of the list. Just watch the tributes in recent months from your colleagues to support our beliefs. 33 plus years of consistent education-filled nourishment will never be forgotten. The 150 song sessions you conducted during COVID are your most recent contribution. Rabbi Eli, one of my personal mentors when beginning college at the University of Oregon was Bill Bowerman. He was a co-founder of Nike Corporation and former U.S. Olympic track coach. His favorite saying was, there is never a finish line. He applied that saying to everything in life, from education to competitions and caring for family, friends, and strangers. We are confident there will never be a finish line for you and all you do in your life. God bless you and Hello, Rabbi Spitz. I'm here with Linda, Sandy, <laughs> and the and the person who's doing the photo is Scott, Sandy's husband. And we all here to wish you a happy retardation. Or retirement. Or retirement. <laughs> I hope you have a, a joyous time and do some more writing and uh, as you have done in the past, traveling or whatever, whatever it's good. And above all, live long and stay healthy. Shalom. Shalom. L'chaim to you, Rabbi. Yes, and meanwhile too, um, happy Hanukkah if it hasn't already gone by by the time this video comes out. We love you and we missed you at the temple, even though we're not there anymore, but just in theory and wish you a long and happy return. Enjoy, all the best. I was lucky enough to be a classmate and then a colleague of Rabbi Eli Spitz. He was and is unfailingly gracious, kind, thoughtful, spiritually attuned, and beloved of his colleagues. The Jewish world is lucky to have had him as a leader and a rabbi for so many years, and I know that in the years ahead, we will continue to benefit from his insight and his wisdom and his goodness. Mazal Tov on successfully concluding a wonderful career and, God willing, starting a new one. Mm -hmm.